Welcome to DWBI Adda channel. Please subscribe for latest training videos. Good morning viewers. We are back with a new topic. We have already completed the introductory sessions of Seaborn. Now in this session we will install Anaconda on Windows and then start working with Seaborn. This is basically a step by step installation video for Seaborn library. Let's begin the session. Installation process of Seaborn is pretty much straightforward. First we will install Anaconda and by default all the required packages including Seaborn should be available with Anaconda. If any of them are missing we have to install them separately. Let's go to the step 1. First we are going to download the latest version of Anaconda. As we are planning to work on Windows environment, we will choose Windows installer. To do so, we will go to the official page of Anaconda. Let's go there. It will help us to land on the download page. So this is the download page of Anaconda. My computer is a 64-bit machine. So I will go for the option 64-bit graphical installer. I'm pressing it. It will take few minutes to download. I will resume after finishing the download. The download has finished. Now we will go to the file location. In my machine it will be stored in a downloads folder. So this is the Anaconda exe file for 64-bit machine. Let's go ahead and run this one. The installation will start with this welcome page. Press next to continue. I agree all the terms and conditions. I will install this Anaconda in all my users. To do so, we will check all user option and we need administrative privilege to do this. So I'm pressing next. I will go with the default location. This register Anaconda as the system Python 3.7 will allow other programs to automatically detect Anaconda. I will also go with this one. It will add Anaconda to the system path environment. Then press install and it will start installation. This installation will take few minutes, so we will resume after completion. The installation process is done. So I will press next, then next. I will uncheck this two and press finish to complete the installation process. Now we will go to the Anaconda prompt. So just need to write Anaconda. I have to open this. So this is our Anaconda prompt. Now we will check our available Python version in Anaconda. To do so we have to just write Python version. Python 3.7.4 version is available in my Anaconda environment. Now I will go to the Anaconda navigator. I will run this one. So this is our Anaconda Navigator. The first one is Home, then Environment. From this environment, we can know the number of installed packages. In current situation, we have only one environment, the base one. In Home, we have Spider, Jupyter Lab applications. We can even install more applications just pressing this install button. I'm returning to the installation process. In this step 2 we will go to Anaconda prompt and search our required packages. These all packages should be available in Anaconda. Let's check with Seaborn. We have to write conda list Seaborn. So Seaborn is available with its latest version 0.10.0. .0. .0. 
Let's assume that they are not available. We can install them just using conda install seaborn. This conda install command will help us to install any new packages. As seaborn is already available, it's showing that all requested packages already installed. Now we are going to open a Python shell and import seaborn library. So we have to write Python. So our Python shell is there. Now we will import our seaborn. We have to write import seaborn as SNS. It should execute without any error. It's working fine in Python shell. We can even check this from Jupyter Notebook. Let's check there. Now we just import our Seaborn library to our Jupyter Notebook. Let's execute this. It's not throwing any error, so it's working fine. So our Seaborn is working fine in both the Python and also in Jupyter Notebook. Let's return to the presentation. Today in this session, we have installed Anaconda on Windows environment, then checked whether the Seaborn is available or not. Finally, imported Seaborn library on Python shell and Jupyter notebook. That's all for today. See you in the next tutorial. Thank you very much.